All right, just gonna give it a few more seconds as folks are filtering in their room. We do have a pretty big group today, so I know that you may not all get everything that I'm saying, so I will throw everything into the chat as well. Uh, in the honor of time, we are going to get started. So welcome to the Noble Virtual College Fair. This part is very, very important, so I'm going to emphasize this a few times. Our panelists cannot see or hear you. Your camera is off, you're muted, they cannot see or hear you. So if you have any questions, please utilize the Q&A button that's either at the top or bottom of your screen anytime throughout the session. Don't wait to the end uh, so that they can get to them. So if you have any questions for our panelists, please use that Q&A button throughout this session. Uh, you can sign up for more sessions in the future for the next time slot. And a recording of this will be available to our panelists, uh, to our audience, everyone that signed up for this fair. Uh, we will send it out, but it's also at our website at strivescan.com forward slash noble. I will throw that in the chat as well. Uh, before we get started, since this is our first session, we are going to start with a video. Welcome, Noble Juniors, to our first ever virtual college fair. My name is Dr. Aide Acosta, and I have the honor of serving as Chief College Officer of Noble. And I am thrilled to welcome you to this incredible event. We have over 3,000 juniors from our 17 schools across the city attending the fair today. Although we usually have this college fair in person, we have pivoted to ensure we can provide a safe and exciting virtual fair for all of our students and the more than 150 colleges in attendance. We have with us representatives from some great colleges and universities. I'll give you a few. My alma mater, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Gettysburg College, UIC, Dickinson College, the College of Worcester, the University of Michigan, and a number of HBCUs, including Tennessee State University, Wiley College, and Harris Stowe State University. At Noble, our vision is to ensure that all students have equitable and positive school experiences that equip them to succeed on the path of their choice, leading to 75% of alumni completing college. Today is another step on your path to success. This is a unique opportunity to hear directly from college reps and learn why they might be a good fit for you. Ask questions, be engaged, have fun, have a great day, enjoy your sessions, and be noble. Hi, Noble Juniors. My name is Miss Metz, and I am the head of schools. When I was a principal, one of my favorite events in any school year was the Network College Fair. My wish for you is that when you're meeting with reps, that you ask curious questions and you remember mentally that you are not the only one interviewing in that conversation. Certainly they are getting to understand you a little bit, but you are also interviewing them. You wanna make sure that you make a decision about your life after Noble that feels good to you. So be yourself, listen, be proud of your story, be proud of your family, be proud of your community, be proud that you live in Chicago and just be yourself. And I hope that you enjoy it and that you take full advantage of this incredible opportunity that Noble is providing you. Have fun. Hey, Noble Juniors. I am so excited to see you. I am Miss Jennifer Reed Davis, also known as Miss Reed, and I get the pleasure to serve as Noble's Chief Equity Officer. I am so excited for today, for Noble to host our very first virtual college fair for our most special group of students, our juniors. I love you all. I'm so excited for you all today. I know that this day seemed like it never would get here, right? The idea of engaging and talking to our college admissions officers from all across the country because they want you 
noble students to be in their campuses. That's a big deal. I remember being a junior in high school, which was not that long ago because I am still very young. And I can recall just the anxiety and the nervousness and the energy, all that surrounded this idea of applying to college and figuring out where I should be. And yet, I just want you to know, just trust the process. Trust your college team, your college advisors, your school, your principal. Trust your parents, your family, the people that love you. And know that if you listen and lean in on your support system, it's all going to work out. All of the hard work that you have done so far, it's going to pay off. I believe that college really and truly is an option for each and every one of you. Your dreams are not too big. As a matter of fact, they're not big enough. So just know that we are cheering you on. We're rooting you on. We love you. Go get them. Bye, juniors. All right, and with that, we are going to kick it off with Roosevelt University. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna to attempt to share my screen here with you. All right, so thank you so much for giving Roosevelt the opportunity. Uh, we are located in Chicago, downtown on Michigan Avenue. and. Our legacy is grounded in social justice, founded in 1945 out of racial and religious defiance. Uh, we changed the national landscape of higher education by admitting all academically qualified students, uh, regardless of ethnicity, race, gender, religion, or socioeconomic status. That is one of the things that makes our Roosevelt a special place. Uh, we're comprised of six colleges. Uh, we offer in the arts and sciences, business education, performing arts, uh, science, health, and pharmacy, and also the Robert Morris Experiential College. Uh, just recently over the last year, during the pandemic, uh, Robert Morris of Illinois and Roosevelt merged. So we have brought in quite a few other programs such as nursing and those types of things. Uh, one of the reasons why people like to attend Roosevelt is the personalized attention from expert faculty. Also, the smaller class sizes, uh, the, uh, the student to faculty ratio is 11 to 1. Uh, that's counting the graduate students uh, coming in as freshmen. You'll probably never be in a classroom uh, larger than 50 people. Uh, so we want you to be engaged in the uh, programs, get to know your faculty members, uh, make relationships. So that all those things are crucial in a smaller uh, classroom environment. Uh, we also have things for your success, honors programs, uh, learning commons if you need assistance or if there is a disability service that's needed. And we also want you to get involved on campus. Uh, we also want you to take advantage of other resources. You know, you just don't want to attend class and go back to your residence room or go back home. Uh, you want to get involved with all the other things on campus that can also help your professional career. You have the option to live on campus or commute if you're living in the Chicago area. Uh, but we do have uh, one of the nicest residence halls in the state of Illinois in the Wabash building with excellent views of the lake, the city, the skyline. I think you could probably enjoy that. I encourage you to come for a visit and take a look for yourself. We also have sports. We're NAIA Division II. Uh, there's over 25 athletic teams. If you don't want to uh, participate on the collegiate level, there's also club sports and intramural sports as well. Here's some of the recent employers that some of our graduates have gone on to. Uh, this is just a few. Obviously, there's also graduate schools involved as well. Uh, you guys will be looking to apply to schools. Uh, our application for fall 2022 uh, will open up for you uh, the end of August, early September. Uh, the application is free uh, with the exception of our College of Performing Arts. Uh, apparently, you just need to self-report your GPA and test scores. If you do decide to uh, go 
to a community college uh, and you want to transfer in, uh, we would just need to, when you decide to transfer, to submit all your transcripts and documents to us. We do have uh, merit scholarships uh, based on your incoming GPA, uh, not your test score. Uh, we started a 2.0 uh, scholarship to range uh, from 8,000 to 10,000. And depending on your FAFSA EFC uh, need base, they could also range from 900 uh, to $10,000. Also, if you do transfer in, uh, we have uh, Phi Theta Kappa scholarships. Uh, there's Star Scholars. Uh, we also have Dreamer grants in addition to the Merit Academic Scholarships if you're not able to submit a FAFSA. And there's work study programs, grants, and loans within the university. Uh, you can request a virtual appointment. You can take a virtual tour. You can also go to our website and sign up for an actual tour and learn about the upcoming events on campus. And I'll now take your questions if there are any in the chat for me. I think there's some that you can type in the answer. We're gonna move along to Eastern Illinois University. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Kenya Gonzalez. Um, I am admissions, I'm the admissions counselor here at Eastern Illinois University. And today I'll be giving you a little bit about Eastern, but first off, I would like to start off by giving you a big thanks for um, spending your morning with us. Um, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. A little bit about EIU. We were founded in 1895 as a normal school. We are a public four-year institution, um, and I will share a lot more about Eastern and what makes us unique. Um, this, um, this upcoming year will be our fourth consecutive year of um, enrollment growth, and so we are very excited and proud um, to share that with you guys. For this fall 2020, our enrollment class is about 8,600 students, and that puts us at a puts us at a medium um, school size, um, which is really nice. It gives us enough uh, room for us to be um, focused on our students. Um, we have been consistently ranked as one of the best colleges. Um, there's a couple of things that give us that um, title, um, starting off with our um, affordability, our classroom size, and just the focus and services that we give our students. We originally started as a normal school with education being our main focus, but we've definitely expanded um, to 90 majors and 90 minors. You can mix and match these majors, double major, add as many minors as you would like. Just keep in mind that adding um, will extend your time, but there is an academic advisor that you work with that will help you navigate that process. Here at EIU, we do focus on your academics. We want to make sure that you're successful um, in every aspect. And in our classroom setting, um, our faculty to student ratio is 14 to one. So for, for every 14 students, we do have one faculty member. Our classrooms are between 40 students or less. This is definitely very true once you get into your main courses, which would be junior and senior year. Um, but for the most part, you'll still be in a smaller classroom setting. And then most importantly, we do um, offer the opportunity for our faculty members, um, those faculty members that have 10 years plus experience to um, be the ones that give you that knowledge. Um, and that stands true for um, most of our courses. Not only do we wanna invest um, in your time here, but we also wanna make sure that you're investing in our future. Um, and so what that looks like is that we help you plan for after the four years on campus. Um, we do this through our career service office that offers a lot of opportunities um, through internship opportunities. There are departments that also have a uh, internship coordinator that helps you navigate that process. And if for some reason there is a company or a different um, industry that you're wanting, that you're interested in, you can bring that to our table and we can definitely connect with those um, entities to help you um, make that connection. Also, um, for any of the students that are undecided or undeclared, no worries. That is actually one of the most popular majors um, here on campus. And we do help you navigate that process. There is a placement desk or um, that helps you kind of find the strengths and weaknesses for you. And we don't necessarily decide what the major that you should choose is. We more so give you the um, information that could help you make that decision. Um, and so we do focus on that. 
And most importantly, 91% of our students do secure employment within four to six months of graduation. Um, this can be, this is also a em employment in the um, career of your choice. So something that lines up with um, your major or students move on to get higher education, which would be grad school. Last year, we were ranked number one university for receiving, um, for getting jobs, which is really nice. And then within the class, when, within the university and outside the classroom settings, you do have a lot of opportunities to get involved um, and be active. Starting off with our Division I athletics, we do hold um, nine men and nine women sports on campus. And if you are still pretty competitive, but not at the collegiate level, you can definitely practice our intramural sports. We have over 40 um, clubs and uh, sports for that for students. This is still pretty competitive. You can hold tournament tournaments and it's still a little bit flexible um, to your own schedule. We also have a recreational center um, that is open for all of our students. Um, there's an indoor swimming pool as we do have a swimming team. So that's something nice that our students um, can use. And then um, we have over 210 organizations that our students can be a part of. Um, you can definitely find something of your interest. And if not, um, you can also bring something new to campus, which is um, really highly recommended. Um, it could build your leadership skills and you can um, create a home away from home for many other students. Uh, last but not least, um, during regular times, we do have over 580 study abroad programs. Um, some things I want to highlight about this is that students can definitely um, have um, scholarships, receive scholarships to study abroad, depending on what country it is. It might be just as affordable as attending Eastern, um, which is really nice. And we have, of course, a study abroad office that focuses and helps, in, helps you from point A to um, point B in that process. Um, living on campus is required for our students. Um, the reason for that being is that we do see a higher um, academic performance. Um, students normally receive a higher GPA um, and graduate on time, which is really nice. And um, we'd like to focus on that for our students. Um, cost and attendance um, for Eastern. Um, you're looking at about 22,000 for the full year. Um, a couple of things I do wanna highlight here is that this is all inclusive and this is also before any financial aid or scholarships. Uh, we do have an amazing textbook rental program where you get all of the books that you need for that year regarding of what major um, you are. And then, um, like I did mention, it is before any financial aid or scholarships. Going into scholarships, we do offer merit scholarships. These are automatic scholarships that you receive as soon as you submit your transcripts or test scores. This year we have moved test optional. And so we have two charts here, one that is test optional and one that is test reported. These scholarships both receive the same amounts. Um, however, the test optional of course only looks at GPA and then test reported is um, including the GPA and test score. Couple of next steps, we ask our students to apply. We do have the application on our website and you can get that application started this summer. Um, there is a $30 fee, but you can get that waived if you get in contact with one of us. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Uh, next up, we have University of Illinois Springfield. Oh, Aaron, you're muted. Thanks, Christy. Yeah, guys, we're gonna have a ton of fun. And today with this presentation, you're gonna get to see what campus looks like. I'm gonna show you pictures of campus. We're not necessarily gonna talk about it, but I want you to envision yourself as a Prairie Star. Illinois Springfield is an amazing place, which I think really has three things that I wanna concentrate on today. And that's gonna be our campus culture, our value, and then our academics. And I think by the time you're done, you're gonna see why UIS has one of the highest graduation rates in the country for students from Chicago and from Chicago public schools. The first thing is our culture. And I think this really sets us apart. UIS is the most successfully diverse public university in Illinois. And it's not really that close. Right now, Illinois Springfield is the only public university in Illinois to be more diverse than our peer institutions in the country and graduate our diversity at a higher rate than our peer institutions in the country. Many students from Chicago are surprised to learn we actually have a higher African-American population in our freshman class 
than our sister campus UIC does in Chicago. It is a very diverse school and we are doing things to make sure that you're going to graduate. Part of that is our culture. We ranked third in the US last year by a leading LGBTQ website as being the most friendly and accepting university in the country. That means our students feel comfortable being themselves on our campus more than anywhere else. We're the number one small school and the only two schools who beat us were two schools out on the West Coast. So if you want an environment where you can get away from the city and really be you, that's Illinois Springfield. Second value. Yes, we're all worried about how much is it gonna cost. I've seen some of those questions already in the chat and on the Q&A. Illinois Springfield ranked fifth in the Midwest for students graduating with the least amount of loan debt. So as you hear everybody talk about scholarships and awards, everybody in, in the state, if you wanna live on campus is right now competing with UIS. We offer the best package and we've done that consistently. I was just on the phone with students from Chicago yesterday all day talking about how little they were going to pay if they wanted to live in Springfield and get a high quality education. So what are we known for? Well, Illinois Springfield actually has some of the top programs in the state. That includes one program we do in conjunction with UIC. We have UIC's nursing on our campus. So if you do not wanna stay in Chicago and still get that elite level nursing degree, you can do that in Springfield with no wait list, test optional admissions and guaranteed placement into nursing without needing an SAT or ACT. We also have the top governmental majors in the country, whether you wanna do political science, whether you wanna do pre-law. I mean, right now, our students are going to elite law schools when they graduate from UIS. In 2020, we had a student admitted to Harvard Law. In 2019, we had students admitted to UCLA, Duke, Vanderbilt, USC, Emory, George Washington, Cornell, you name the law school, we're getting students there because we are the only school in the nation to house an innocence project without a law school on our campus. Meaning you're gonna do what Northwestern School of Law students do for their internship, your freshman year on our campus. Think about putting that on a law school uh, application. In addition to that, we have the top child advocacy program right now in the world. We are only one of three schools in the nation to be certified by the Gunderson National Training Center and the Zero Abuse Project. So if you're looking to work with youth, there's a reason that in 2018, the leader in this field said that the future of anything kids in the world runs through Illinois Springfield. If you wanna go into business, education, any of the sciences, even forensic science, where we house one of the top two programs in the state for forensic science, we have all of that going on on our campus. Finally, the application. It'll open in August. We are test optional for scholarships, for honors admission, for guaranteed placement into nursing. Everything is test optional. We're looking at your GPA. We're looking at it unweighted, all right? And if you get free and reduced lunch, like I know almost all of you will because you're in CPS, we'll waive that app fee. And so it's a quick application process. And finally, we're open for visits. We have handled COVID amazingly. Uh, we've had zero positive tests in the last nine days. And just so you know, we test faculty, staff, and students two days, two times a week by a spit test. Nobody's sticking stuff up anybody's nose. We're doing an amazing job at making sure that our students are successful on campus. So I'll leave you with this. If you want one of the most diverse and successfully diverse campuses right now in Illinois, if you want to get outside of Chicago, you want to study in some of our top programs right now in the state, and you want to do it for an amazing experience where you're gonna meet kids from all over the world. That's Illinois Springfield. And that's why I've worked here for the last 18 years. Thank you so much. And Christy, I'll turn it back to you. All right, thank you. Next up, we have Bradley University. All right, good morning, everybody. Real quick, share my screen with you. All right, so my name is Connor King. I'm with Bradley University. I'm an admission counselor here and have been here for about three years. I'm actually a graduate of Bradley University as well with a degree in sports communication. So we are located in Peoria, Illinois, which is centrally located to the middle of the state. Um, so we are about three hours from Chicago, Indianapolis, and St. Louis. So allows for a lot of entertainment purposes, but also if you're looking for jobs, internships, things along those lines, 
uh, once you graduate or during your time in school, we are very centrally located to a lot of bigger cities. So at Bradley, we have nearly 6,000 students. Uh, we are considered a mid-sized school. So um, some of those 6,000 students are graduate level program students and about 5,500 are undergraduate. We like to talk about how we are more personalized than some of your larger universities, but also more opportunistic than some of your smaller schools, meaning that while you're on campus here, you can still get involved in a lot of uh, programs, activities, clubs, things along those lines. So still feel like you may be on a bigger campus while combining that with a smaller size of, of classroom, uh, classroom size along with building relationships and those sorts of things. So our average class size at Bradley currently is about 17 students per class, um, and obviously that's more so once you get into your major. Uh, we have very few lectures on campus, so um, you will be able to really build relationships with your peers in the classroom, along with your professors. Speaking of which, our student to faculty ratio is 12 to 1, meaning that for every 12 students, there is one professor available. So your professors are currently uh, readily available to you, um, even pass out their cell phone numbers on occasion to stay in touch with you. Uh, we also have more than uh, 185 different academic programs um, and majors on campus. So as you can see here, we have five different colleges that we offer on campus. They are the College of Business, um, Communication and Fine Arts, Education and Health Sciences, Engineering and Technology, and Liberal Arts and Sciences. So we'll dive into each one of those. The Foster College of Business, is, this is where obviously you would get into different types of things that we, you'll see here on the screen, such as accounting, finance, marketing, leadership, things along those lines. That picture you're seeing is from our brand new building, $100 million, uh, multi-million dollar uh, building on campus that we have for our business and engineering students with a lot of collaborative workspace. Uh, you don't have to be majoring in one of those majors to use the building. There's a lot of study space as well. Uh, it's a beautiful building that we're lucky to have. Um, our Slain College of Communication and Fine Arts is where I spent a lot of my time as a sports communication major. So if you're looking to get into um, something communication related, you'll see the picture there with uh, the desk uh, where we have our mock television studio in the basement. Um, you'll, you'll see that you can get, in, get involved in other things such as like theater, music, art and design, our popular game design program. Our College of Education and Health Sciences houses our direct admit nursing program, which is a very well known and popular major here on campus. Uh, we'll talk about this with the application process, but it is something you'll want to apply to early since our class does fill quickly. Uh, we also offer a physical therapy and health sciences uh, major. So it's kinesiology and health science undergraduate major leading into potentially our, our doctorate level of physical therapy on campus. And also of course, education and those, sorts of, those types of things. Our Caterpillar College of Engineering and Technology, again, is housed in that brand new building we offer, and you can see the four different um, categories of engineering that we would offer on campus. There's a lot of hands-on learning. Uh, you get to get your hands on things as a freshman, uh, which is really cool because as an engineer, you're certainly looking to, to build right away. You may not be able to do that at a larger school. And last but not least, we have our College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, the biggest one on campus that houses some of those majors we haven't talked about yet also houses a lot of our minors. So if you're looking to minor in like a foreign language or something along those lines, you would do that here. We also offer our academic exploration program for undecided students. So if you're not really sure what you'd like to do yet, you can come to Bradley this way. Um, one in every six Bradley students starts this way on campus. The only program you cannot start this way with is nursing. Um, and so it just gives you an opportunity to explore what we offer. All right, so this is a picture of our campus. You can actually access this page on our website with all the different icons. You can walk from corner to corner of campus in about five to 10 minutes. So it is very compact. Um, it's centrally located around our square or our, um, our quad that you'll see out front. Um, we, we have about 90% of our students currently that are freshmen living on campus. So again, gives you a lot of opportunity to meet new people. We do offer 240 plus different uh, student organizations and clubs on campus, uh, whether you're looking to get involved in sport like club sports, intramurals, religious life, um, diversity and inclusion, all those types of things, fun groups, whatever it may be, you can certainly get involved on campus leading back to the fact that uh, we do have a lot of options for students to get involved while we are still a mid-sized school. 
So next, I wanted to just quickly talk about our cost estimator. Um, take a look at this on our website, especially if you're a junior. This is a great tool to, to kind of gauge how much it may cost for you to attend Bradley. We offer merit scholarships between $14,000 and $20,000 a year, along with any uh, potential federal aid that you may get based on your EFC when you file the FAFSA. Um, so again, take a look at this cost estimator, especially if you're a junior, may give you a great idea of, of where you currently may fall on our scale. You can apply using the Bradley application or the common application. We offer both. Um, you don't have to, to do both of them, just one or the other. It is free to apply to Bradley. So if you have any interest whatsoever, I highly recommend applying. You can do so as early as July 1st when our application opens in the summertime. And then the common application, I believe, opens on August the 1st. Uh, we talked about nursing a little bit as our direct admit nursing program is pretty popular. That along with uh, game design and animation are majors that do tend to fill up pretty quickly. So we do recommend that you apply during those summer hours or summer time period, uh, which we consider our early action period. Um, so again, that runs from July 1st up through November the 1st. You are not locked into any kind of commitment by applying early, so we are non-binding. We just recommend applying early so that you don't miss out um, because the class may fill up as we get closer to November. And a popular question we've had recently, of course, is asking about visits on campus. So yes, we are offering on-campus visits. We actually have an admitted senior program today. So for any of you seniors who are looking for last minute visit options, you can certainly still do that this month. We also offer daily visits Monday through Saturday. Um, so you are, you are able to visit campus Monday through Saturday, um, nine to five and on Saturdays, Saturday mornings. Uh, we would give you an hour long tour of campus with a tour guide and then of course a chance to speak to an admission counselor like myself to answer any last minute questions. So check out our website, you'll see the, um, the link there for our visit page, which will give you an idea of what kind of visit programs we have now and going forward as well. My name is Connor King. Again, I'm an admission counselor. I deal with students uh, that live in the Chicago land area and South suburbs. You're welcome to text or call me and or email me with any questions you may have. Thanks for your time. All right, thank you. Next up, we have Illinois State University. Hi everyone, thank you. Um, my name is Carla Cabrera. I'm a Senior Regional Admissions Counselor with Illinois State University. We are located in Normal, Illinois, right in central um, Illinois, pretty much the heart of Illinois, we like to say. Um, we are two hours south of Chicago, two and a half hours north of St. Louis, and about three hours from Indianapolis. Uh, so we're far enough where you can live on campus, but close enough where you can come and go in one day. Um, founded as a normal school. So for those of you who may not be familiar, um, a normal school is a teacher's college. So for over 100 years, all we did at our campus was offer that one degree for teaching. And we started off with a graduating class of about 10 students. Uh, now many of you may know us for much more than just teaching these days. We do have over 150 academic programs to pick from, which I'll actually go ahead and cover in just a bit. Uh, this here is my, one of my favorite traditions on campus. It's our spirit photo. Uh, we do like to gather the incoming student class class um, with freshmen and transfers and just take a big group photo in the football field. Talking a little bit more about our campus community and where they come from, we do have nearly 21,000 total students on our campus, of which slightly above 18,000 students are undergraduate seeking students. Um, these are students who are here on our campus seeking their first bachelor's level degree. We also have graduate level students, but they only make up about 10% of our population. So that's a really small portion of our students. And we're also a transfer friendly institution with nearly a third of our students coming from an Illinois community college. You can also see the breakdown of female and male there. And we do have students who are coming from all across the country as well as all over the world. Um, we also have um, three in 10 of our students identify as coming from an underrepresented population, and that is based on race and ethnicity. We are proud of the work that we are doing to ensure that our students are receiving equitable experiences on our campus. So as you'll see here on this screen, represented here are four affinity groups on campus. Um, these are actually going to be housed under our new multicultural center, uh, which is actually opening up at the end of this academic year. Um, this is going to be a space, a physical space for students to just gather, connect, support, and build community with one another. 
Uh, now diving more into our academic environment. Um, earlier I mentioned we do have over 150 academic programs um, and we have them categorized into these different career clusters. So education continues to be one of our top career clusters. We do produce about a quarter of new teachers in the state of Illinois every single year. Um, we also have a nursing program, which is actually called the Mennonite College of Nursing. And our College of Business is strong with tight partnerships with State Farm Insurance, whose headquarters is actually located right down the road in Bloomington Normal, uh, sorry, in Bloomington, which is our sister city. Um, and then our cybersecurity program, it has actually tripled in size over the last few years. So there are plenty of options across the university to pick from. Um, you can see all of our programs at illinoisstate.edu slash academics, which is that link at the bottom right-hand corner. Talking a little bit more, oh, Sorry, talking a little bit more about um, Bloomington Normal. I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, here a picture of what we call Uptown Normal. This is honestly in your own backyard. Um, the campus is all on the right-hand side of the screen there. So if you look down that street on the right-hand side, at the end of that street, you are looking at Hobby Hall. This is where our Office of Admissions is located as well as the Financial Aid Office. And on the other side of that building is our academic quad, which is really the heart of our campus. Um, at the top of that screen, you are looking at Watterson Towers right in the middle. Um, and Watterson Towers is actually a building that you cannot miss uh, when you're driving down the highway. You probably likely to see it. Um, it does have 28 stories and it's actually considered to be the highest point between Chicago and St. Louis. So that's just a little fun fact for you. Um, speaking of Chicago and St. Louis, looking over at the left hand side of your screen, you are going to be seeing the Amtrak station, which actually stops right on campus. Um, it's just a block away from the residence hall. So again, that's one form of transportation for many of our students. Um, the university and the town really do work closely together when hosting events. Uh, we do provide student discounts at all of the shops that are located here, as well as restaurants. Um, there's also free corn during our Sweet Corn and Blues Festival, and so much more that you can find. Now, we want to support you not only during your time on our campus, but through your whole entire graduation and into your career. Um, so our Career Services Office is a great resource um, with an internship coordinator in every single academic department. So for example, if you are studying business, you're going to have somebody specifically that will help you find internships while you're a student on our campus. And these internships can be either in town or back home. Um, also our career exploration class, 20% um, of our students do come in as undecided every single year. And if that's you, we have this class specifically for undeclared students um, that you can take and it will help you find a major before you even complete the class. So it has a really high success rate. Um, our application for admissions does open up September 1st of this year. November 15th is our preferred filing period. Um, and what we mean by that is that we encourage students to submit an application by this date only because they'll be at best consideration for um, admissions into their desired major, uh, scholarships that they qualify for, and they typically tend to receive a decision before the end of the year. Um, if you are thinking about transferring, know that the dates on the right-hand side, uh, the dates are a little bit more extended and they do vary by semester. Um, and we can certainly help you with that if that's an interest of yours. Um, you will find that our application fee on our website, um, it is a $50 application fee. We do offer application fee waivers. And if you have questions about that, you can always reach out to admissions. Some of the things that we do consider when looking at an application, um, we are looking at your cumulative grade point average. Uh, we are looking at test scores if you submit them. So we are test optional now and we will remain test optional for fall 2022. So you do have the option to submit a test score or not to submit it. Either way, um, it's not going to hinder you in any sort of way. But if you do choose to submit a test score, know that we will be looking at that. Um, and then there's a personal statement that we also consider. Personal statements are optional. Um, but they are strongly encouraged for the students who might fall on that lower end of the spectrum that you're seeing on your screen. Now, if you want to get in touch with your admissions representative, you can feel free to reach out to us at admissions at illinoisstate.edu. And that's all from me. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Next up, we have University of Illinois at Chicago. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Selena Hernandez. I'm an admissions counselor with UIC, and I will be sharing some great information about our university. So again, once again, thank you for joining. Okay. So 
So UIC is located right in the center of the city of Chicago. So you can see here on the map, East Campus is where our main area is for our undergraduate students. And we are surrounded by the north, south, and west sides of the city, as well as the downtown loop area. So not only do we have a lot of resources on campus, but we encourage students to connect with their departments to look for opportunities off campus if you're interested in networking, having an internship or job opportunity during your time at UIC as a student. Students at UIC also um, commute through the CTA and we have something called the U-Pass that gives students access to riding the CTA buses and trains a limited number of times for free during the academic year. So a great way to get around campus or the city, whether you're going to work, school, or just to get around to explore the different Chicago neighborhoods. When applying to UIC from high school, we have a lot of different direct entry programs. These colleges are the ones that offer direct entry majors. So if you're thinking about computer science and engineering, if you're thinking about architecture in the College of Architecture, Design and the Arts, marketing or finance in the College of Business, and then our largest college, the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, which has majors like chemistry, biological sciences, economics, sociology, psychology. And also I do wanna highlight the major of undeclared or undecided. We don't expect all students to apply to UIC with the major. You're not required to do so. So when you apply to UIC, if you have a lot of different interests, you're welcome to apply as undeclared or undecided. I also like to share that I graduated from UIC myself. And when I applied to UIC, I also applied as undeclared or undecided. I know many students interested in UIC are thinking about our health related programs, medicine, dentistry, nursing, these programs are not offered as direct entry programs, but when you would come into UAC, these would be declared as an educational goal, meaning that you would be on the pre-nursing track, pre-medicine track, pre-dentistry track, and so on. These tracks will uh, help you prepare to apply to these programs at a later time, making sure that you meet the requirements, take the appropriate courses, and work with your pre-health advisor to have um, a strong application and be a competitive applicant for these programs in the future. Something that stands out about UIC is that we are a research one institution. We are Chicago's public research institution. Um, in Illinois, there are only four research institutions and UIC is one of those. So as a research institution, the professors that you're learning from in the classroom are spending their time outside of the classroom, writing articles and books on the material that you're learning about in the classroom. Pretty much you are learning from experts in the field, but how is this relevant to you all? As undergraduate students, you also have the opportunity to conduct undergraduate research, um, whether it's creating your own research project, working with other students, or even working with a professor on a project. What's even better is that a lot of these opportunities are paid or you can receive class credit for them. UIC does have a diverse student body. Diversity can mean a lot of different things. At UIC, we have students from different ethnic and cultural backgrounds, religious backgrounds, geographical backgrounds. About 40% identify as first-generation college students about one third identify as multilingual. And not only do we want students to enroll on campus, but we also want them to feel supported during their time at UIC. For that reason, we have many academic support programs, including the African American Academic Network, Arab American Cultural Center, Disability Cultural Center, Latin American Recruitment Educational Services Program, and many more that work with students to make sure that they are successful on campus in whichever way they define success. To apply to UIC, you will have to use the common application, submit official high school transcripts. There is an application fee, but you can also apply for the fee waiver in the application. And we are gonna be test optional for students applying for fall of 2022. So you're not required to submit test scores. But we do review the applications holistically, meaning that other factors that are gonna be also important in reviewing your application include personal statement, letters of recommendation, to give us a better view of who you are, not only as a student, but as a person that would be on our campus. To apply for financial aid, there's a few different ways. Our tuition at UIC for our in-state students is about thirteen dollars to $14,000 annually. This is for any student graduating from an Illinois high school, whether you are an Illinois resident, DACA, or undocumented. To apply for financial aid, you can apply either through the FAFSA application, or if you are not eligible for FAFSA, you may be eligible for the Illinois RISE Act application. This will allow you to apply for grants or funds through either the federal government or the state of Illinois. But all students that apply to UIC are eligible for departmental and merit-based scholarships. So we encourage students apply earlier and meet our early action deadline. So they're that first pool of students that are reviewed for scholarship consideration. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to ask away in the Q&A, but I also encourage you to connect with us via email at admissions at uic.edu. This is going to connect you to your assigned admissions counselor or on our discover.uic.edu webpage where we currently have virtual tour options, appointments with um, academic advisors, a live chat with, or I'm sorry, with admissions counselors, and an, uh, many ways to connect either with us or your interested academic college. Thank you again for your time. Please don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to help. All right, thank you. Uh, so that brings us really close to the end of our time here. And I see that there are a lot of questions uh, in that Q&A that perhaps our panelists will not be able to get to, but they are going to receive uh, a copy of all your questions and your contact information. My biggest piece of advice to you though, the last thing I would like to plug is please, please, please contact these folks. This is what they do to find out if this could be a right fit for you. So grab that contact information uh, out of those chat. And, and if you did not get it, it will be on the recording at StriveScan's website. I put the link in the chat as well. Thank you to our experts, to our panelists, and thank you to all the students and parents out there. Best of luck to you. Stay safe, stay well, and have a good day.